Animal net. So there, there it is. Thank you, Heather Nicole. Sticks and strings. God damn. Ooh, industrial. <gasps> you make it out of industrial hemp fiber, which I have eight of. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that string. Oh my god, I could just like duplicate that and I could just make that right now and I could make them breed. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna duplicate that. Oh. oh it works. Holy crap. Okay, uh I guess I can't load that in, but oh I'm so excited. Something's happening. Was it like was it like that? Holy crap. Okay. We tried doing this the easy way where you guys fall in love naturally, but clearly none of you like each other and that's just not how it works in the animal land. There you go. And then you go, you go in there. There you go. Become a, get in that, get in, get in there. Get inside that. What? I sure hope this thing doesn't have a durability that I should worry about. Get in the chicken breeder. Well, there was something earlier that it was saying, like, put your chickens in this thing and it'll collect materials, and now I don't know what the heck it was called, because for some reason the mod creators didn't have the insight, the foresight, to just name everything chicken space word. That would actually be super helpful right now. What was it? Was it just chicken? Maybe, I guess let's just make the chicken roost. Whatever, let's go with what we know, right? You know? Like, worst case, we're just passing time until these stupid things finish growing and making more more things. Uh, here, more... More coal seed. That's good. We're actually getting a lot of seeds now. That's very good. That's very, very good. I don't know why I'm whispering. It makes things kind of creepy. Alright, uh... Just a little more of that. Just like, just like one more. Thank you. No, wait, sorry. I, I got confused. One more. Okay, now for real things. Okay. So now we just need that and some planks. And then we make chicken roost. I did it. I think it's really cool when like multiple mods work together. I guess mostly what it is is what like one person or a group makes a really cool mod and then other people make like, you know, auxil like little add-on mods for it or even the same people make add-on mods for it and they call it something else so it becomes more difficult to actually like search for. Uh, wait, where's the third one? What, did chicken go inside box? Wait, where's the... We're missing a chicken. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm like, where's my chicken? And it's like... <laughs> I'm sorry, chicken. Uh, I should expand this pen a bit because we're going to turn this into like an actual proper chicken farm. Which, by the way, is a hell of a word in Japanese. It's yokejo. I don't know why. I know jo just means place at the very end of it, but it's a it's a crazy word. The only reason I know that word well now, though, is because it's in that the, the Harvest Moon Reunion in, 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 in Mineral Town game. And I go and I talk to the people at the chicken farm a lot. Because in that one, they actually added different kinds of chickens. Like in this remake. Because before, there were just white chickens. Now they got the brown chickens. And they've also got Angora rabbits. Which isn't new to the series, but it's new to Friends of Mineral Town, I think. I always say that, but I actually don't know. Because I always played Back to Nature. Which was the PS4... Or, or not the PS4. Which was the PS1 original that Friends of Mineral Town was pretty much directly lifted off of. And some things were different in that one. But I don't remember Angora rabbits in any, any of those old ones. Uh, I guess I need more fence and I need more dirt is is my whole thing right now. You need dirt? That's cool. Like It actually does store all that stuff. So we're going to expand this area out a bit. And I think we have more than enough wood already. And we're going to make ourselves some heckin' fences. And we're going to expand this thing and it's going to be beautiful. That would be gates, which is fine. I need those as well. Eh. I did not do that. How dare I hit this to clear grid accidentally. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, sure, sure. 21 fences. Why not? We're going to expand this area and make quite the chicken place, I say. Uh, the only way that I can think of to get them to not, like, leave... It, like in run, you know, run away and leave me forever. Is I'm gonna have to create a chicken hole. I spent all this time telling Lily that she shouldn't just spend time, all of her time, sticking her chickens inside of small spaces. And then, oh yeah, see that would be death right there. Yeah, that, that right there is a class one chickens dead now uh, situation. We're not gonna have that. No thanks. Oh no, 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 no. That was scary. I don't like. I'm not. I'm not particularly uh, good with heights. 
I mean, who who wouldn't be? I feel like you just you just have to have some survival instincts, okay? More seeds. <gasps> More seeds. Yes. Hey, now now we got enough. We're we're getting like a, a good healthy rotation going on here. Okay, this water's only going to reach out one more space though. So I'm going to have to I don't know, I guess expand in some capacity. Uh do 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 do. Do 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 do. More of that, and I assume more of that. We'll be drowning in it soon, y'all. We'll be drowning in it soon. All right, y'all come with me. You guys got to get in this hole so you don't leave me. Get in there. Get in hole. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this animal net's awesome, and it doesn't seem to have a durability on it. It does not. It's pretty cool. There you go, Betty. And there you go, generic chicken number two. All right, you guys stay in there while I do some renovations. I know it's not cozy. I know it's not, you know, like the bougie life you're used to living, but you're all just going to have to deal with it. So I can make your life even bougier. Why does it look dark over there? Eddie the Goat, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're going to expand this. Uh, I guess it would make sense to expand it that way, but the trees are in the way. Of course, those trees got way too freaking big. We're going to make those bonsai pots soon, and then, yeah, we're just, just never going to worry about it again. Leopard Heart, thanks for the follow. Okay, I guess we'll just push this out this way. It's fine. I need more room to put down roosts and hen houses and whatnot. It's going to be pretty good. Whew. Mm, the last, oh, Internet Gun says the last Harvest Moon game I played seriously was on the N64. Oh, Harvest Moon 64? That was my first ever Harvest Moon. And that was like such a whirlwind. That was, oh my god, that took over my life. Like, I remember up until like, god, up until I became like a pretty seasoned adult, I was like, curse my mother. I remember when I first got that game and I was so in love with it and she was like, you're not doing anything, you're grounded. And I was like, why would you ground me from something I love, mother? But looking back, it probably was for the best. I, I probably wasn't bathing. Like, I, those, those details do get fuzzy over time, but I got so obsessed with that game, I was trying to play it literally 24 hours a day, literally seven days a week. Not that I was ever the kind of kid that would do homework in the first place. I know. Big, big shock, right? I didn't like school much. They put me, when I was in early elementary, they were actually just in elementary in general, they kept trying to put me in advanced classes because they were like, your boy's too smart. And that's like a death sentence, by the way. Like being smart by school, by like public, especially US public school standards is, does not mean you're smart for one thing, but two, it's not good. It'll make a kid burn out. I got bored. I missed like one class and I fell behind. And then that was just, that was just doom. It spelled doom for the rest of my academic career, okay? And the rest of it was just kind of like, it was kind of just all in that way from that point on. Don't remember why I brought this up. Oh, but the point is, it's not like my school was, uh, like schooling was going particularly well for me in any, in any way at that time. But still, even by my own low standards, Harvest Moon 64 was kind of ruining my life. <laughs> it was really fun though. It's still like my, it's still like one of my favorite games in the world. And I will still legitimately like pick it up. Like 10 out of 10. Would almost ruin my life again. I told myself I wasn't going to harvest this tree. I told myself I wouldn't do it. But darn it, my chickens need this, you know? That's what parenting is, okay? You find yourself doing all the things you said you never would because you're doing it for someone you love, like a bunch of chickens. I'm going to raise these chickens right, okay? I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm, like, they, won't, they won't appreciate me now. But then when, I, then when they get older... They're gonna- they're gonna realize that I cut down this stupid, godforsaken, annoying tree just for them. Where's the tree core? Is this the tree core? CDE Banana says, I remember being in Gifted one year in elementary and it was amazing. Next year they replaced it with advanced math. Yeah. <laughs> I did not like advanced classes. It was just stuff- it, it quickly went from like, Good job, Ryan, you can do these things, to like, Alright now do these other things and it quickly came to this point where I was like I need to I need to have a reason why and that's just kind of how I am That's like how I've always been like I need to know why I'm learning something and why I'm doing something like why am I learning these advanced concepts? Why am I doing these things and they're like well so that way you can pass a test and our school can gain notoriety And that was just kind of when I fell out don't worry by the end of like by high school I pulled it all together and I ended up graduating with a pretty dang good GPA. I just wanted to prove to people at, at the end of high school there that it was it was more just an, an, an issue of me not wanting to. I have a really bad... Moose is still convinced that she's like, you might have ADHD like me. And on one hand, I'm like, who cares? Like, whatever, I'm still... Even if I, like, end up paying a doctor and they, they're all like, yes! 
it says here on the ADD dar that you have ADD. Like, it's not going to change my life. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to take medicine. I refuse. I hate. I hate taking medicines. I mean, don't follow my example or anything, though. Like, you, you probably try not to be too stubborn. If you need medicine, take it. It doesn't make you weak or anything like that. I just personally don't like taking medicines because I almost always have adverse reactions to them. Anytime there's a medicine out there that a doctor's like, some people react to the medicine badly in this way, I always, every single time, 100% of the time, get the bad reaction to it. So I'm not just saying don't take medicine. Take your medicine. Dang it. Take care of yourself. I have my own reasons, okay? Ooh, there's more stone. Does this mean... Nope, I need two more. God, that fertilized dirt is great for everything that's not mystical agriculture, though. It's, like, really effective. I'm very pleased with, with the results. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess we could be using these flowers, right? To get ourselves... No, that's a light gray one. If we want to get rare chickens, you guys... We gotta combine them with some of these, some of these, these dyes. So hold on a second. If I, if I put this together, and I suddenly have a red chick. Okay, so now I have a red chicken egg. I don't really know what that's for. Don't, don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. But you bet your bottom dollar uh, when I figure it out, it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna figure out what that chicken does at some point. I think we could open this out a bit more too. I need more dirt. I feel like the transmutation table is like my rich dad. I'm like, hey dad, it's like what? I need more dirt. And then he just gives it to me. Because I feel like I'm not really earning this, is the, is the thing. That's the whole bit. It's that I'm done. It just feels like I, I didn't earn any of the stuff that I just picked up is all. I keep trying to hit uh, tab and then walking away, but tab doesn't get you out of this the way I keep thinking it does. Like, if you click once on this and then you hit tab, it'll... I guess you have to hit tab twice is the thing. Okay, I just have to remember that. That's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's pretty bad, though. It's pretty annoying. It's inconveniencing me. And I don't like to be inconvenienced. It makes me angry. Oh, man. I'm sorry, past Kakujo. I know I said we wouldn't have to make another axe. I know. I'm sorry. But there's this fence in the way, and, like, I need it gone, so... You know. <laughs> ADD Dar. I know. That's a pretty fun thing to say. ADD Dar. It also kind of sounds like someone that doesn't... is able to speak English is trying to do, like, the, the Beethoven song. A D D Dar, A D D Dar, A D D Dar, A D D Dar, A D D Dar. I'm gonna stop now. I don't know if that's upsetting anyone. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bigger now, uh, and that's nice. I think this is a great place to start. We could even leave those trees there, you know. Hmm. Earring Gun says, "If I had to work super hard so people would call me smart, I'd rather not be smart." Absolutely. I'm 100% about being comfortable, okay? Like, I get it. You, you know, some some people might tell you, like, don't be comfortable. Like, be comfortable when you're dead or old or whatever. But, I don't know. You never know what's going to happen in life. I think it's worth it to, like, slow down every once in a while. And just go at your pace. You don't want to look back and be like, God, I sure wish I would have relaxed a little more. That's probably, like, the worst feeling. Not that I would know what that feels like, but... Okay. Yeah, this looks great. This actually, lo I, I love this aesthetic. These trees, these trees right here, they're gonna stay there. And then this this chicken coop is like ready to begin. Let's put the roosts like kind of in a row. We can put them like back here. We can start them over here. There, we got a roost. I guess I would take an animal net, capture a chicken and place it in there and then they would just be stuck. It'd be like the way that KFC supposedly was being accused of making chicken for a while there. Just plug them in, just extract the meat. They're not real. They're not. They're hardly alive. God, it's weird. Every time I bring up that rumor from Forever Go, Moose has no idea what I'm talking about. And honestly, I don't think anyone else ever does. I mean, not that anyone else ever knows what I'm talking about in general, but still, it seems an awful lot like somehow they erased everyone's memory, and no one remembers the KFC mechanical chicken rumor. And it almost kind of bugs me. If yeah, I guess if I cared more, it would bug me. But say la vie, I suppose. Okay, I want to take uh, I want to take Betty because she's special. Betty, get in the Betty, get in the net. I want to take Betty. Oh my God! Look at them. They're just sitting there in a hole with a pile of their own feces. I'm a terrible chicken farmer. I got to get Betty inside her other box. Get in there. Get in that. Get in that box. Get inside that roost. Get it now. Get in there. Oh my God. Hopefully they'll just like get in that roost 
at some point, you know? So I know one of them, they were like, uh, like the hen house, it was like, it will collect resources in a nine by nine area, so long as there's hay bale. Do I know what that means? No, but I am gosh darn convinced to find out. Get it, get in the net. <laughs> I feel like I should really get back on track here. I want to make a couple more of those, uh, those roosts, but I mean, I guess it's like no harm, no foul while we're waiting for the, the last of the stone essences because we only have eight. Wait, when did we get eight? Oh. Cool. Okay. All according to plan. I mean, is what I, is what I mean. That was exact. That was perfect timing. That was like, mm, that was like good. It was exactly as long as I meant to be, to be doing chicken stuff. Okay. I want to put this chest here and drop some of this random stuff in there. Not you two. You two are coming with me. You two are needed for a greater purpose. Eh, uh, sure, whatever. I'll hold some some stuff. And now, finally, <laughs> we made cobblestone. Uh, also, finally, we made coal. And these two, before I screw everything up, are immediately going inside of the transmutation table. Immediately. Look at that. Now we can make so much stuff. All we need is the trees with the bonsai pots which will automatically collect from the hopping bonsais it'll drop into a chest below them and then we'll never have to cut trees again it'll just be an automated tree farm kind of thing uh supposedly oh we'll figure that part out for sure but th for now i'm ab i'm absolutely within the realm of possibilities to do such a thing as this i can make a stone pickaxe <gasps> yes and with this i can harvest my first my first iron and my first black quartz ore. Wait a second, did you... Do you need to be processed, sir? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you gotta smelt it. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Because uh, uh, I... Yeah. And that's also totally fine, because I have enough to make a furnace as well. The furnace will go... Uh, right here, I guess. I'm probably going to want to put a generator there later, but we can... I guess we can just move all this stuff later on. It's not a huge deal. And then I'm going to want to smelt that. I guess I'm also going to want to smelt the iron ore. Yeah, wait. Why did I put the iron ore down? It's been a while since I've played Minecraft, you guys. <laughs> now I remember how to play Minecraft, though. I remember I remember how to get ore now. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I got to remember that. I got to remember that that's the title. That's going to be a title of this episode when it goes on YouTube. No harm, no foul. Nailed it. Here, why don't you make some charcoal? This also means that we can start duplicating uh, the clay if we want to. Uh, let me take some clay and turn it into a brick. We can start duplicating that as well. Hopefully the transmutation table has infinite space. Like, that'd be that'd be pretty good. Okay, then you make... You make brick! You make brick now! <laughs> Cracker Volley asks, are you eventually planning to make a nice house? Yes! But niceties come later. First, I am a chicken farmer, for, uh, first and foremost. I am a man who farmed a chicken. 16 and 16. Oh, so yeah, harv uh, transmutating for the brick makes way more sense than for the clay. Okay. And we needed how much for the pot? Bonsai? They wanted me to make a hopping bonsai pot. Because this one automatically exports drops. And then the living rock bonsai pot, I have no idea what the heck that is, but it uses living rock. Oh, it's Batania stuff. Oh, that's gotta be fancy. That's gotta be like crazy. So we need a bonsai pot, which is five of the bricks. Then we'll combine it with a hopper, which is iron in a chest. Aha, okay, mm-hmm. Drop this into there, we can transmute. Uh, of course the iron ingot takes 256 EMC. Of course it does. Like, why Why would it not do that? That's insane. What did I think, things were gonna be that easy? Did I really, did I, oh, 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 okay. It's good, it's good to have more things to do though. Like, let's be honest. So if I take this bonsai pot, I'm kinda curious about like, uh, Use JEI to look up compatible soil saplings and their drop rates. Does anyone know what JEI means? Is that this th is that this item search thing? Yeah, Cracker Volley. Botania scares me too much as well. Also, uh, when Botania was fairly new, I did a fairly extensive series on it on YouTube. I think. I don't think I didn't play it all the way through to completion, but I quickly came to realize that it's not the kind of game where you do exploration. Like, I thought that whenever you create portals to these, like, elven lands or whatever, that you would go to the elven lands, it would be another dimension. 
but no, you just it's just basically you throw an item in and the elves are like, throw another item back, and then that's that was it. I was so disappointed, and I just I gave up on Batani after that. I was so upset. Leopard Heart says, J-E-I is the search, Lamal. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it, I, it said, like, look up the, you know, look up compatible soil saplings and the drop rates. Mm. Or Dix tree sampling fuel timber. I don't know exactly what it's talking about me looking up. Saplings and their drop rates. Compatible soil. I guess we could just use, here, let's get out of here. I think it might be asking us to press U on the bonsai pot. And then, yeah, here we go. There we go. Not so intuitive, but we got there, okay? So you would take dirt. Oh, okay. Grow time, drop chance. So using a grass block as opposed to a dirt block gives you a better chance of growing and dropping. But it's not like a huge difference, so I guess we don't really need to worry about that too much right now. Rubber sapling would give you... It usually takes 45 to grow this bonza. Is that 45 seconds? 45 minutes. Imagine if it were 45 minutes. Uh, it would be one of those things where like, I leave it running while I'm out doing errands or something. Like, no. No thanks. But it drops rubber wood, sticks, sap, rubber leaves, and rubber sap. But dropping the leaves would be pretty cool. Although it only has a 10% chance to drop that, the only thing that has a high percent chance to drop is rubber wood. So this isn't a complete re replacement, I guess, for... Uh for just cutting down trees. I'm totally willing to take that loss, though. I'm totally willing to take that loss. Like, I, I don't want to cut any more trees down, you guys. I, I just don't want to do it anymore. But here we go. Yeah, oak uh, saplings. They drop the wood, the sticks, the apples, the leaves, and the saplings. And the saplings, there's only a small chance. That's fine. There's not too many saplings per tree anyway. What other kind of trees are there? Just birch, jungle, chorus fruit. What the hell is this? It uses endstone? Oh, no. No, that's okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll pass on that one. Having said that, where do you get endstone? Is there another way to get endstone in this game? Because I know you can buy the chorus fruit. But can you buy... Here's the question. Is it possible to just buy endstone? There's none of that, none of that biz here, I don't think. Trophies. Ew. 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 No. No. Seizures. No, thank you. No, that's fair. Either way, there's stuff that we can do. But the bonsai pot would gather stuff up and automatically drop it into chests, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. But this one, I assume, would still collect stuff and maybe not drop it into chests. I'd have to come check on it every once in a while. But we're still pretty close to being able to use the iron ingots. Let's just let's just sacrifice this wood. All of that wood, I get that only get that many ingots. Fine. That's still pretty good, actually, because we only need five iron, so we only need one more. Did you see what I did right there, guys? Math. Give give us a follow for, for more math. For more good good arithmetic. For good, good old stuff. Okay, so I gotta take a chest, which I can't make because I don't have enough wood. Hold on a second. There we go. If I didn't have enough wood, I was gonna be devastated. I will not harvest more trees right now, you guys. And there, there's the hopper. Okay, let's just let's just start right off the gate with the good stuff right now. Okay, let's also go ahead and pick up our rewards for various things. I made this. I get money, seven hundred ninety. Not bad. I also get a loot crate. That's pretty neat. But I don't really like. I have a kind of a distrust of loot crates. You know. Okay, so random reward. Wait. Oh, I could get a truly random. Re Look at this. There's like chickens, sticks, there's machines, there's random... What is this? I got a quantum battery. Hopefully that comes in handy in some way. The only thing is I don't have a loot crate opener, you guys. Loot crates are fun to open. No, I won't lie about that. I, don't, I just don't trust them as a thing. But we need a loot crate opener. How do you make a loot crate opener? Loot crate opener. You need to take planks. It's claiming that they're only dark oak planks, but I feel like that's probably not true. Wait, really? Are you sure you're not just going through the list of... Maybe it's just planks. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just planks. And then a quest book, and then stone pickaxe. That's fine. Yeah, there it is, just regular planks. How do you make the quest book, though? Looks like it's just a book. Just, wait, any quest book? Or you could just buy one for 1G from the, sh from the shop. Come on. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I'm going to buy one quest book, thank you. And I will also make, I guess, one more... Stone pickaxe. 
And now I can make it, right? I can just go like, book, this thing, and then a bunch of planks. Holy crap. Holy crap, my wood. Planks. Wait, where's my stuff? Oh, pickaxe. And then a book. And now I got a loot crate opener. Oh, I didn't even need to like, he, like lose the book. Okay, so I got that. Let's turn in that quest real quick before we use it. That's a pretty good money amount. All right, loot crate opener. Uh, I don't know, I'll just pop right there. So what do you do? You just kind of put it there and then, and then what? God dang it, how does this work? Whoa, oh, I had to hold down shift and right click. I don't think that I needed to make that box, you guys. That was a waste. Oh, well. We got Peridot Ore. Well, golly. That surely is a thing that happened. What do I use you for? Well, I guess I could trade it in for EMC either way. Anyway, uh, we're coming close. We're getting somewhat close to the, the time when I have to go, which is unfortunate. This uh, this whole adventure, this whole Sky Sky Odyssey adventure really does, like... You have so much stuff in it. it. It's it's enough to just keep you busy for proper hours. I should also really make a, 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 a the hen house so it can collect these eggs for me. But whatever, it's fine. I don't mind collecting them manually. We need to figure out a place to put down this automatic hopping bonsai thing. We also need to make a chest so that we can actually store the items. And eventually, the chicken farm will probably be expanded out in this direction. So that's whatever. This island's getting awfully cramped already, isn't it? Awfully cramped, yeah. Awfully, awfully cramped. I don't know where the heck to put this tree, you guys. Oh, God, I could have just fallen to my death right there. I want to put it right here. This seems like the obvious place to put it, but then, yeah, that friggin' tree's in the way. Which is a simple matter of just knocking down the tree, but I don't want to cut down any more trees right now, okay? I just don't want to do it. So, this thing will take dirt, which I... Somehow still keep not having. How do we get dirt? How do we get a grass block pickup? We got to find an enderman and take his block from him. Or what we use like silk touch or something. That'd be pretty cool to put in here and duplicate. Because then we could have grass block instead of just dirt block. Again, the time to for prettification is later. Right now, it's just time to get things mechanically functioning. Later on, once we get our facilities in order and we have like lots of more space or whatever, maybe I'll make something pretty to where you can't see this ugly chest sticking out of the ground. But for now... Whatever. Oh. That's not normal. That's kind of making me anxious. I don't like looking at that. Oh. Jumbus says, I really enjoyed this today, but I have to go now. Thank you for streaming, helping me relax here. Have a great day and wonderful restful weekend. See you next week. Thank you, Jumbus. I hope you have a good, a good weekend, too. Thanks for hanging out with us. Look at this thing. And it's not going to really get any bigger than this. I was over here looking like, for, like, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to fit this? But it's just, it's, it literally is just like a little bonsai. <gasps> and it just does it over. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Good, G -g -g good. I like that a lot. That's very quick. That's a very high turnaround. I probably should have put this thing inside of the transmutation table, just in case it was like cheaper to, to get it out that way, but we could pull out more iron ingots or whatever. That is incredible. So this thing's just gonna sit here and do this now. Wait, go, wait, go on, go on, go on. Oh, like not a piece of wood there at all? Okay, that's fine, but th that's totally fine, because like while we're doing stuff, that's gonna be happening, you know? Uh, can, I, can I make you grow by twerking? Okay, bonsais don't understand what twerking is. It's probably for the best. Less people that know the better. This is a good this was a good productive day, is what this was. Okay. Oh yeah, what was I gonna use this thing for? I was gonna use it for something important. But now I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Alright, back to the chicken stuff. Let's go make ourselves a hen house, shall we? What are the differences in the wood types? I suppose nothing, huh? Yeah, okay. So it's a hay a, a ba hay bale, bale of hay, and then some planks, and then you got yourself a hen house. So it'll automatically collect items from chickens in a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine when provided with a hay bale. So it's just like water, except it's also, I guess, vertically as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, you can finally make your own, like, terraced chicken farms. It's not something that usually farming in Minecraft allows you to do. So that's that's pretty exciting. 
Oh, we're running out of space, aren't we? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Swell. Swell. I, you know, until this seems... Until I'm convinced I need this, I'm just going to put this up. And I'm going to make another chest. Let's cut ourselves a double wide. What? D does this thing have the chest mod in it? Where you can, like, make the... Ch yes! Iron chests! That is far more preferable.